everyone, and welcome back to Tech Feedback, which is the episode where myself, Annie Gauss, and Scott Bromley sit on the couch and we respond to some of your viewer questions from throughout the week. Now, this first one pertains to the episode Don't Watch Porn on Your Phone, which got kind of a lot of views, yeah, yeah. leading us to suspect that maybe a lot of people actually do watch porn on their phones, but it had, uh, you know, some 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 interesting feedback on this right. episode like right well okay so at the the bottom half of that episode was i was talking about the the google hack or the the bug that they found in the system where if you typed in negative four uh raised to the quarter power you would get a whole bunch of porn results uh mr one to watch wrote in and said uh so of course negative eight raised to the quarter power gives me bible results it turns out it does it does yeah. and so we were kind of trying to analyze that earlier and you know, maybe does the eight have some significance? Does yeah. the four have some significance? And who found that stuff out? Right. Anyway, we were talking about this earlier. Like, who was in there? Like, it was maybe like, it was someone looking up a math problem. But. Right. Right. And they just got that. But yeah. Congratulations on those Bible results. Wash your wash your soul clean after looking at all that porn with the negative four. And your iPhone. Yeah. You don't want that malware. No. All right. Malware so of the soul. <laughs> yeah. So the next story that we did was uh, the Xbox and all of the rumored specs that are that are coming out for the next one. So, uh, Car Crazy Two Six Two Two wrote in to Scott and Annie asking us, uh, "What are you more excited for, the Xbox Seven Twenty or the PS 4 um, I'm you go first. yeah, I'm personally more excited for uh, both because I'm one of those one of those people who it has owns both. Do I you own really? every console and well, I don't yeah. care because I'm an adult man and I have never had any preference. When I was a kid, I was pro Nintendo. I was like, oh, you Genesis kids, you're poor and boring. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, nice. But, yeah, yeah, I was very judgmental. <laughs> That's uh, why you landed in bar for the Chuck E. G. Yes, yes. Karma. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was total <laughs> karma. Uh, but I actually, I'm excited for both. Both, both will probably, uh, you know, if the past generations are, are to go by, we'll have amazing exclusives, and I want to play everything, and I do play everything, so I'm excited for both. Yeah, I mean, I'm the opposite of you. I actually own neither of those consoles, but um, I've thought about getting an Xbox, and that's the one I would be more inclined to go with, I think, because it seems like Microsoft is really trying to, full, to turn it into a full-featured right. entertainment center, right. and so I think that um, that appeals to me, and I still might buy one, but I'm gonna yeah. wait for the next one yeah. to come out. I mean, I do, like, of, of my current systems, I use my Xbox the most. This next one was from Winston, the app that reads your news to you. This was the um, new application that basically is sort of like a personal butler, but mm -hmm. that only reads the news to you. Right. I'm just saying butler because I'm stereotyping because it has a British accent. British. And I've been watching a lot of Downton Abbey, but... Um, <laughs> It, it was kind of a fun app that reads you headlines, and uh, I've actually been using it. I've really? used it for the past couple because, like, when I'm getting ready in the morning, I don't have time to like find out what's you know just like kind of turn right. it on, get a quick overview. But anyway, to the question, Zoom X Dude 1999 wants to know, what if Winston and Siri had a baby? Ooh. What if they had a baby? I, it would I mean, be. It would be. Oh. It would be a very confused British person who always <laughs> didn't understand what you said. Yes, and w like a very sarcastic British yeah. person. Yeah, but he would know, th the baby would know a lot about the news. So it would be like, you'd ask it, hey, um, where's a good pizza restaurant? Well, of course, you can <laughs> have pizza at this restaurant, maybe. It was in the news recently, people were murdered there. <laughs> you can go if you'd like. I can also show you a picture of a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, you had problems I, with Siri. All she would show you were pictures of stallions. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know what the baby's name would be. I'm going to have to, uh, I don't know. It would probably be something British. It would probably Alistair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. Um, and we also got a video response question, and congratulations to Electromite. You will be getting a t-shirt for this, and we'll follow up with you he about was also, that. He was also the only one who asked <laughs> yes. this. So if you um, guys want t-shirts, send video response like Electromite. Maybe here. this will encourage others. But anyway, here's the question, Electromite. Hey, TechBeat News. My name is Electromite, and my question to you is, what did you guys do before TechFeed News? What did we do before TechFeed News? Well, um, I've been here at Revision 3 for a few years. Um, I started here when I was still in school, and since my time here, I've produced a number of shows. I also did App Judgment. I did um, started my own show, Andy's Bits, and I also produced and co-hosted The Dig Reel, which was like a clip show. Um, and while I was in school, I worked a number of bizarre jobs, uh, including receptionisting. I was the worst receptionist of all time. 
I also, oh, I also worked at the weirdest bar in the world. All right. The, the, <laughs> yeah, that was, that, was, that was definitely like, I'm going to have to write like a memoir about that experience. But um, yeah, a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of odd jobs, a lot of yeah. odd jobs. What about you? Uh, I, you know, I worked in children's television for a long time right out of school. Uh, then I went over to Current TV, which is now Al Jazeera. Um, I wrote wrote some stuff, produced, and uh, started starting getting in front of the camera over there as well. Then from there, I went over to IGN and did some did some stuff for them over at that video game website. And then uh, I did social media for a while, and then I landed here back on internet TV, doing doing what I actually love doing, which is entertainment. All right, uh, so the next one is, uh, I talked about Slacker, how it's taking on uh, Pandora and Spotify, it's this new music service, well not new, it's been around since 2006, but no one's actually really been using it. Uh, so Josh Fernandez wrote in asking, was this news or was it an ad? Well, you know, okay, here's the thing. We do not get paid to do stories at all. I'd be wearing much flashier clothing and, and driving <laughs> a way nicer car. The set would not be built out of styrofoam if we were, <laughs> if we were getting paid. No, uh, we cover the news. Uh, what we find interesting, uh, this happened to be all over the news uh, that day, and I thought it was interesting that this little engine that could company that had been chugging along since 2006 was actually saying, all right, we're gonna try and take on the big boys now. So I, I put that forward. Also, I thought their ad was hysterically terrible. The, um, the attack ad, <laughs> it was just so bad. So I decided to put that in there. But no, yes. we don't get paid. We don't get, I mean, we get paid to do our jobs, but we don't get paid to do stories. All right, so next series of questions from Google's touchscreen Chrome Pixel leak or hoax. This was the leaked, quote unquote, leaked video um, of this amazing looking uh, Google built laptop that would have a touchscreen and this beautiful uh, display. Then in the ad, they had this like jellyfish. And right. being that it's called the Chromebook Pixel, Part of the cell is that it has a super high density display. But um, Cinemintification uh, writes in the comments, taking issue with my use of the term retina display, Annie, you dumb bitch, the Chromebook wouldn't have a retina display. Um, and I'm glad that you brought this up because uh, it's true that the retina display in one sense applies only to Apple products because they coined the term retina display. Mm -hmm. But it's also true that retina display is just a marketing buzzword. It's not its own technology. It's not something that Apple owns. It just refers to a particular level of pixel density such that the viewer can't see the pixels. That mm -hmm. all it, that's all it means is that it's like a really nice looking display. So using your deductive reasoning, you can presume that this is actually a retina, retina display. display. Yeah. But I I do appreciate this commenter's fiery passion on the issue being so strong that it led them to violate YouTube's cyber citizen guidelines. These guidelines dictate that uh, we all keep comments clean and respectful. Mm -hmm. um, the recommended course of action if you do run into this, by the way, according to the terms, not me, is to block users whose comments or messages or are bothering you. This is also the recommended course of action in the ABC Family movie, uh, Cyberbully. Have you seen this movie? <laughs> no. Oh, it's a great, oh, you need to see this. <laughs> you of all people need to watch wow. this movie. Wow, I hope it's as good as uh, Mother May I Sleep With Danger. Yes. Starring Tori Spelling. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. And of course, you know, with a every ABC Family movie, there is a rap sesh at the end where they okay. kind of figure you're everything out. Do we have a clip of that? I Let's hope. Pull the clip. All right. Print it out. Save the evidence. What else? Block them. You know, block the sender. And, you know, for the name, you don't want to see what crap they're saying about you. Took me for damn ever to figure that out. God, I never thought of that. So basically, I guess the point of that whole clip is don't call Annie a bitch. Internet. Or or anyone. No. Let's just keep it clean, people. Unless you're talking Let's about just a female the dog. Guidelines. You're talking about a female dog. It's cool to call <laughs> okay. it a bitch. But if you're talking about a beautiful young woman who co-hosts a technology show on the internet, right. just don't call her a bitch. All right, internet? Or at least put a little star there, you yeah. know? Just yeah. put a little, yeah, anyway. Because she's a superstar. <sighs> you guys can all watch us here on Tech Feed every single day, two times a day. Two times a day. Also, if you want a video response in, in this show, you could win a t-shirt, so send us one all week Whatever video comes up, if you want to ask us a question, send it to us in video form, and if we use it on this show, we will send you a free t-shirt. So until next time, I'm Scott Bromley. I'm Annie Gauss. Have a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you really soon. Yeah, like in an, uh, two hours or something. Can we talk about the Chuck E. Cheese thing again? <laughs> yes, we can. So I was at Chuck E. Cheese as a kid.
and and uh, this kid before before me in the ball pit threw up in the ball pit, threw up in the ball pit, vomited pizza all over the bottom. Fat little me was like, all right, a ball pit, and I jumped head first, bam, right into a pool of vomit. It's Chuck E. Cheese. And <laughs> Happy birthday and to you. Happy birthday to you. You're covered in vomit. It was your birthday? Spin more. Of course it was my birthday. <laughs> Nice, best birthday ever. Yeah. That's why I wasn't allowed to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Well, your parents cared about you.